Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a history lesson like no other. Today, we're diving headfirst into the extraordinary tale of Joan of Arc, the feisty farm girl who turned the Hundred Years' War into a hilarious spectacle. It's the 15th century, and France is tangled up in the Hundred Years' War with England. But little did they know that their savior was about to arrive, in the form of a spunky French farm girl named Joan. One fine day, while tending to her sheep, Joan starts having visions and hearing divine voices. It's like a medieval reality show, Joan's got divine talent. She might have been like, voila. I've got a direct line to the big guy upstairs. But of course, her family and friends probably thought, oh, there she goes again, being Joan, our own little drama queen. Nevertheless, our determined damsel marches off to the royal court and bursts in with confidence and flair. Hey there, Chuck. The heavens are calling, and I'm your ticket to victory. Let's kick some English tushies. Are you sure about this? You don't even have a helmet. Helmets are overrated. Trust me. Is she for real? Well, why not give it a shot? It can't be worse than that time. I tried to wear skinny trousers. Surprisingly enough, Charles gives in and thinks, what's the worst that could happen? And off she goes, charging into battles like a caffeinated bull, wielding a sword with the grace of a ballerina, or maybe more like a whirlwind on steroids. She shouts, for France. For glory. And because the voices in my head told me so. The English soldiers must have been scratching their heads, wondering who this fearless French girl was, and why she had divine support. Let's take a moment to appreciate Joan's quirks, from her fashionably unconventional armor choices to her unique, warrior poses that confused both friends and foes alike. Ah, yes, the infamous Joan jump, perfect for dodging arrows or reaching the cookie jar on the top shelf. Just like when she was child. And there she goes, twirling her sword like a baton while the English soldiers try to keep up with this whirlwind of awesomeness. Alas, all good things must come to an end. After several victories, Joan was finally captured by the English. They were probably thinking, well, 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 look who we've got here, the legendary Joan of Arc. Not so tough now, are you? But Joan wouldn't back down, she stayed defiant and true to her visions, even in the face of their jeers. You think you're some kind of chosen one? Well, not to brag, but the big guy upstairs seems to think so. Oh, you know... The big guy, the big cheese, the head honcho. And, as you might have heard, things don't end so well for our quirky heroine. She's sentenced to be burned at the stake. But even as the flames lick around her, Joan stays strong and continues to sass her captors. She might have even said, you think this'll stop me? I'll be back, baby, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Guess I'm a real hotshot now, huh? Did she just make a pun at a time like this? Well, they do say laughter is the best medicine. And there you have it, the tale of Joan of Arc, the farm girl turned warrior, the divinely guided drama queen, and the one who proved that audacity and self-belief can change the course of history. Joan's legacy lives on as an inspiration to many. Some say she even inspired a certain modern-day superhero with a penchant for wearing unusual headgear. Thank you for joining us on this hilarious escapade through history. If you enjoyed this quirky journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more quirky historical tales.